So I'd like to go over today the concept of lung volumes and capacities. This is something that's easily asked of you by your uh, staff in the in the operating room, and sometimes it can it can be confusing if you don't have the picture in your head or the right framework to think of it in. Uh, before we get started, one key thing to remember is that a capacity is always the sum of volumes. We'll see what I mean in a second when we get into the chart. So to start, let's just draw a y-axis, and this is volume. And in a typical 70, 80 kilogram man, the lungs are about six liters in volume. So the easiest, easiest one to draw is the total lung capacity. That's essentially the whole thing. Total lung capacity or your TLC, and that's on, the, that's on the one side here. Then it's easy to think about how we actually breathe. Normal passive ventilation actually utilizes only a small fraction of this volume. As we know, that's called our tidal volume. And it's somewhere between the kind of two and three liter mark, or it sort of straddles the Three liter mark, and it depends a little bit again on how much you weigh, what your overall size and size is. We also know that there's an amount of, of of air that stays in the lungs, no matter what you do. So you can breathe out as hard as you can, and you won't get rid of it. And that's called the residual volume. But how do we fill in all this other stuff? So, why don't we think first, if you're not taking a passive breath, if you, deep in, if you breathe in as deep as you possibly can from the end of your inspiration, the volume between the tidal volume and the total lung capacity is called your inspiratory reserve. Volume. As you can see, there's nothing you can add to this, so it's a volume. It has to be a volume because you can't make a capacity out of it because there's no other smaller piece of it that you can add to it to make it a capacity. But if we think about when you when you breathe in at the end of, of, a, of a passive breath, you breathe in deep from the end of expiration, you're going to be breathing in from down here all the way up to your total lung capacity. So this is your inspiratory capacity. Which we can see is made up of the tidal volume and the inspiratory reserve volume. So we can see that the capacity is the sum of the volumes. Now what about on the flip side? So from the end of a passive expiration there's an amount of air or volume down to our residual volume. This is called our expiratory reserve. So if you were to expire as much as you could at the end of a tidal volume breath, then you'd get down to your residual volumes. This is your expiratory reserve. Expiratory reserve volume. And thus our expiratory capacity, expiratory capacity, is essentially from the end of that tidal volume inspiration, so when you when you breathe in a normal breath, and then if you were to blow all the way down as much as you possibly could, you'd get to your residual volume. That volume is your expiratory capacity, and that's made up of the tidal volume plus your expiratory reserve volume. Now, what about if you were to if you were to measure the amount of volume that's in the lungs at the end of a normal breath? the end of a normal breath, that's this volume here. This is actually an important physiologic one. This is called your functional residual capacity. Or your FRC. And this is important because it changes based on various pulmonary diseases. So it's actually important physiologically, your FRC. Um, and it's made up of the expiratory reserve volume and the residual volume. So at the end of a passive breath, the amount of oxygen, or sorry, the amount of volume or air that's 
that's in the lungs. And then if we were to think about, if you were to take the biggest possible breath you possibly could, get all this inspiratory capacity, all this total lung capacity, and then blow out as much as you could all the way down to the, to the residual volume, what is that? That's our vital capacity, a term no doubt you've heard before. And as we can see, going along with our capacity as a sum of volumes, the vital capacity is made up of your inspiratory reserve volume, your tidal volume, and your expiratory reserve volume. So you're using up all of your reserves to generate your vital capacity. So that's a framework and way of thinking about lung volumes.